everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Patterns. This is uh, an upcoming or, you know, in beta release, depending on your perspective, uh, release that is going to be available on Steam a little bit later this month that can be perhaps most easily described as a combination of a game like Minecraft, a sandbox game in that style, and uh, something, I don't know, maybe a little bit like Proteus, I guess? Like, it's kind of like a sandbox exploratory game, if you will, but the Minecraft element is definitely strong with this. I played about an hour of this so far, and uh, it's a very confusing experience for me so far. Uh, it's not been devoid of value, but I've had a very hard time in my hours since there is no tutorial, either in the game or on the website, uh, figuring out not only what I can do, but what I should do as well. So I spend most of my time uh, just kind of wandering around and kind of taking in the admittedly kind of pretty, uh, you know, the game can be beautiful at times, especially with its uh, lighting and uh, dynamic shadows. Uh, and in music as well, I think the music is fantastic, but uh, I'm just kind of wandering around. Basically, um, we're going to be playing on Proto World here. There are currently four levels in the game, and unlike a game like Minecraft, uh, believe me, the Minecraft elements are not, like I'm not making a, a broad comparison here. This game has huge Minecraft elements, as you can probably tell. Um, unlike Minecraft, the levels are not randomly or procedurally generated every single time. Each level is kind of scripted. Uh, but that, it's a positive and a negative. I think it probably lowers the replay value and kind of the wonder of coming across some things. But at the same time, it allows for like awesome developer created levels like this that you can see like all these landmarks and stuff all this kind of like intelligent design if you will uh, that has gone into making these levels don't fall off the edge you can indeed double jump someone told me that on twitter last night but uh we're gonna talk a little bit about the positives a little bit about the negatives uh that i have experienced in um patterns so far and you know both of those are pretty robust so the big negative i have with respect to patterns uh, is that I spend a lot of my time figuring out, or trying to figure out, what the F I can actually accomplish. So, the general gist of the game from a mechanic standpoint is very, very similar to Minecraft. We're basically playing as this triangular dude, or this dude who is a tessellation of shapes, if you will, or a congregation of shapes. Uh, and we have this beam that we can use, and we can use this to destroy certain materials in our environment, and we pick up shapes as a result. So, you know, we bust down this, like, pyramid here, or this prism, and then we get four triangles as a result. There will be squares that we could do the same thing to, like this over here. Uh, and if we have nothing equipped in our inventory, as you can see by that, like, hot bar on the very bottom, uh, then we were just using our beam by default. So this is allowing me to pick up some squares, pick up some triangles, and just in general, uh, kind of amass shapes in my inventory. So that's my inventory down there at the bottom. You can see I have 173 triangle pieces, uh, 28 cubes, and then uh, 21 of each of those kind of irregular shapes. And what we want to do, basically it's a sandbox game. So as far as I can tell, we don't have any overall objectives beyond do whatever the F you want to do. So uh, what I'm going to try to do is just get over to here and maybe harvest some of these other materials. You know, even though, um, maybe we'll do it like this. By the way, this game has some substantial performance issues, at least in my experience so far. And again, as always, my, my caveat here is that I'm running this on a pretty beefy machine. Uh, but it could just be some kind of weird driver interaction or something. Uh, but, you know, most of the time, I spend my time... Oh god, I made it out of a material that was not strong enough. One thing I should mention that uh, separates this from a game like Minecraft is that the materials do have physical properties. So maybe, uh, I'm not sure what we built this out of here. We're using like this white material right now. Uh, but, what is that? Bone Stone. Bone Stone, just a great name for like a wrestler or something. Uh, but obviously gravity and my weight at the end of that, uh, you know, lever was, was too much for that to handle. Uh, so what we're gonna try to do instead is maybe make this out of Jasper, which looks to be a denser stone. Which might allow me to possibly, uh, build this bridge across, but you know, I, I'm kind of unsure how this video is gonna go. Uh, I spent a lot of my time. Oh, don't don't break it. Just put one down. Oh, maybe I'm out of Jasper now. Let me check my materials quickly. I am indeed. I have Moonstone. Uh, let's see if we can make it across on the Moonstone. I don't know. This seems more valuable, but uh, it, you know, there used to be this like Flash game that I'd play when I was a, a little bit younger. Are we out of Moonstone now? No, that can't possibly be the case. We are okay, cause I guess. We only have like a flat square of Moonstone, and then we used, we had six in our inventory, but we used six to make the cube. I totally understand that now. Um, let's, let's mine some more materials then while we're here. Okay, sure, Bone Stone, whatever. Um, I spend a lot of my time in uh, this game just trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. A, a lot of times falling to my death. I do appreciate that there is a kind of a physical element uh, that the different materials have. Like if you make something out of stone, it'll be a little sturdier. If you make it out of moss, it'll crumble as soon as you like stand on it. 
Uh, that's kind of neat. We're going to take this from the ground up, because otherwise it'll terraria on us and everything will fall and perhaps be unusable if it falls off the edge. Um, what I was going to say is there was a, like a sandbox game that I used to play on the internet when I was a, an adolescent or a young teenager that kind of had d the similar style. You could make things out of like sand and oil and then see how like the elements interacted with one another in, within the environment you created. This seems kind of like a 3D, uh, you know, shape-based version of that. Uh, but at the same time, I think this game kind of suffers a lot from really being overly minimalistic. I have no problem with minimalistic games. If you watch my Let's Look at it, Proteus, you know that I'm not necessarily the target audience for the, uh, you know, exploratory minimalistic games as art crowd or uh, niche, similar with uh, Biento Leite. But, uh, I'm, I'm certainly not someone who has a knee-jerk reaction against it. What I struggle with in this game is just being like, okay, uh, like, what am I supposed to do? I, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I need so botch that pretty hard. Uh, I need some direction at some point, otherwise I get bored in this environment pretty fast. Basically, the entire time I was playing this game, I was like, okay, why am I playing this instead of Minecraft? One reason might be, uh, these kind of user-created, not user-created, but developer-created environments. Uh, one reason might be that you prefer triangles to simply cubes, uh, but apart from that, Minecraft seems like a game that has a lot more to do, and I'm not a particular Minecraft fan. Don't take this as me, you know, being a Minecraft fanboy or anything like that. I don't think I've played the game since the actual update that came out in, like, 2011, back when I was in South... Oh! Alright, well, clearly we've made that out of a terrible substance as well. Again, any kind of help, guidance, or tutorialization would be cool game. Uh, maybe we should try for a different objective. I don't know, man. Let's mine some more bone stone. Bone stone is ready. I have on occasion, believe it or not, managed to get across this. Uh, one thing that is cool is, you know, the fact that it is, you know, intelligently designed means that there are kind of show key, showcase areas. I think the problem here, by the way, was that I simply, uh, that single bone stone layer ended up fucking me up. Um, but there, there's kind of like showpiece areas, if you will. Like, occasionally I've been... You know, I've fallen into a maze or something that I had to find my way out of, and that's got a kind of cool, like, mist element where you just find yourself in a puzzle that you didn't necessarily expect. Uh, but at the same time, it could be kind of annoying to fall into situations like that and then have no way out. I don't know. I, I, I don't even have... Normally when I have kind of negative impressions on a game, I say that I'm... I've got mixed impressions on a game. I'm gonna just come flat out and say that I think this is kind of, uh, in, in some ways, a little bit of a broken mess, at least in its current state. I mean, it's salvageable. It's not out yet. Did we finally make it? Let's try to jump across to safety. We could shatter there, but anyway. We ended up succeeding in that jump, so let us do a little bit more exploration again. Kind of objectively, I have to say, I really think this game is at times beautiful. The way the uh, dynamic lighting and dynamic shadows work. It makes the game look incredibly realistic. It also causes, as you might have seen right there, uh, some serious performance issues. But in any case, let's switch back to our beam, uh, start mining some materials. Because I need some more Jasper if we are going to build anything here. And I don't even know, like, we, we could basically do whatever we wanted. If you want to build a house, we can build a house. We could try, anyway. Uh, if you want to build a bone stone bridge, we could try to build a bone stone bridge. It's probably not going to work out all that well, as you've seen so far. Uh, we could just do some exploration, and I mean, this is all sort of cool, but at the same time, I kind of feel like... You know, there's, there's games that do the sandbox element better, and more robust, certainly. They give you some kind of threats, at least, or some kind of direction, or something to do. I, I, maybe I'm just missing the point here, I don't know. That's always the danger when you kind of take a stand like this. Uh, and there's games that do the exploration better, like, the music is good, the, the art is beautiful, but I, I would still rather play something like Proteus if I was going for that kind of, we're gonna just chill out and hang out in the world for a while vibe. Uh, you know, beyond that, I, 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 in my time with this game so far, it basically strikes me as kind of a game without a place. Like, it, it, it occupies some niche, but I'm not sure there's any players within that niche. Uh, at the very least, I am certainly not one of them. And also, at times, the kind of presentation of the game, at least in my opinion, feels at odds with itself. Like, it's got this really beautiful environment, but then you have this character that looks... I mean, you, let me see if I can tab out and kind of get a v better view of him. You got this character who kind of looks like a cheap, like, Vector Man knockoff or something. Uh, it controls super weird. It's like a third-person dealio. And then this beam kind of seems like a cheap tool to just be like, Oh yeah, he shoots, like, a beam out of his hands that causes materials to break. I don't know. Well, I, it strikes me as a, a very, very unusual game. And uh, some of the elements seem a little bit arbitrary as opposed to designed. In contrast to, you know, the art and the environments of the game, which seem very much designed and, and not arbitrary at all. So it creates this weird kind of dichotomy for me. Uh, and, you know, the fact that it doesn't seem to have a unified vision in that sense 
uh, has made it perhaps a little bit less effective as a an art piece or a, you know a, just kind of a chill out game compared to one of those other games that I mentioned earlier. But I, I do kind of enjoy the, the fact that it has user directed goals. Uh, I, I'm always into games that kind of have that conceit about them. So you know what I could do? Let's just climb this period or this period. What's on my brain? We're gonna climb this pyramid first, and well maybe we'll get this. What I don't know what that is. Some kind of new material. Let's take a look. It's shell. Okay, I don't know what that does, but this is a game about experimentation, so that's cool. Uh, so now we've climbed this. Let's, let's set our next goal. Do we want to go over to the, you know, the Pyrenees over here? Uh, or do we want to go over to the skyscraper? I want to go over and try to climb this skyscraper, and maybe we'll find something cool as we're there. We could also climb this py uh, pyramid, perhaps, on the way. One thing I do like about the game as well, uh, it's a strength and a fault, but I like that everything is kind of physics-based. So if I just, like, cut off the tree trunk here, gravity will swoop in and take the tree the rest of the way down. Which is kind of neat. So let's climb this pyramid, uh, and then we'll try to go over to that skyscraper in the distance. And maybe we'll try to build, like, a bridge or something on the way. Um, we might fall and die. Oh, we didn't die there. I die a lot in this game. And, you know, for all I'm saying here, where, I, you know, I'm mentioning that maybe it's just me who doesn't get it. I did have a talk with a few other YouTubers who had access to this game. Uh, and they shared a similar opinion as me. They're like, well, I played it for like an hour. I kind of don't understand anything about what I'm supposed to be doing. But I figured it was just me instead of the game. And I was like, you know what, guys? Fuck that. We can't let that excuse last any longer. Um, apparently there are bombs in this game. But again, first off, look at how beautiful this looks. It looks so good. It's a shame that I, I don't like the overall game more than I do. Uh, by the way, those uh, blue crystals that... Oh, don't fall into the pyramid. You're going to shatter. Um, those blue crystals basically give us access to a new shape. So each one of those, the reason they're kind of highlighted is because that allows us to build a new shape in the environment. So like, uh, in our current state, uh, we only have four shapes that we can build from, but if we come across some new shapes, then we can expand what we build. We can also, I've never been able to do it, but apparently there is like a workbench basically, uh, where you can kind of make your own shapes from the shapes that you have, you know, like hobble them together, I guess. That sounds kind of cool, and it, it might allow you to like build things like houses faster because you're using a template. Uh, but at the same time, I haven't been able to get it to work. So, one thing I would really appreciate, I think something that would make me uh, a lot more positive on this game overall. I wonder if I can just get this by just continuously going back to it like so. Yep, yeah, we can. Um, one thing that would make me a lot more positive on this game, I think, is if there was just some kind of dedicated tutorial. Uh, that would make my life a lot easier because I did again about an hour played of this so far uh, And Steam can verify that but uh, I've basically just spent the entire time Walking around trying to figure out what to do and I appreciate you know that a lot of these games are uh, You know minimalistic and you don't want to be overly explanatory or else you take some of that magic away uh, I don't know if we can get this one though, uh, but at the same time I really would have appreciated some guidance at some point along the line because uh, after a while, it just becomes kind of laborious to, to wander around and not really be able to do anything. So apparently, also, there are some environmental things like there's a kiln, and we can make stronger bricks in the kiln. Uh, at the very least, I can probably get that cylinder or, like, hexagon over there. Camera's a little weird. We have how many blocks available? 18 blocks of Jasper available. Can I safely put myself over there? This is a valid question that remains to be seen. Uh, we're gonna give it a try at the very least. I think it's super weird that when you place a block on the edge like this, uh, you get teleported to the block as it's placed. I don't know what's up with that. If that is some kind of like engine limitation or performance issue, it is beyond me. Uh, but it is real weird. Like I said, this game has some stability issues. The reason that I started in the map, by the way, as opposed to like generating the map uh, once the game started, is because it automatically changes your resolution, and when you have fraps running, uh, that can cause the game to crash. So there are four other, or three other, uh, already generated maps available in the game. But, uh, we won't be able to see those. But, you know, they all have their own unique themes. Uh, they all seem to have kind of, like, changes in scenery. I do, and I'm not, you know, being facetious when I say this. I don't want this one. Oh, God! Jasper is not strong enough to handle it. Um... I'm not being facetious when I say this. I really, I think it's cool that the, the levels are actually created by the developers. It allows them to kind of create their own structures. And, and it adds some mystery to the game. Because you're like, whoa, like, wait, how did this pyramid get here? What's inside of this pyramid? I mean, we can go check that out if we wanted to. Um, but at the same time, I, I don't know. It's just, nothing about this game appeals to me. That's a damning way to say it. Uh, but every second that I spend playing this kind of feels like more and more of a chore. That is, uh, perhaps some of you are thinking that's unfair, but that is a genuine representation of how I've been feeling about this game so far. So, 
Uh, unfortunate, but sadly true. I guess we're gonna try to build over this way instead. We'll give it the old college try anyway. I doubt it's gonna work for us, because apparently uh, Jasper is not strong enough to deal with it. And I'm sure, you know, there are people who actually are deriving some value out of this game in its current state. It is available for pickup uh, in uh, early access form. For $10, you get access to the beta that comes with the Steam code. Uh, when the game actually comes out on Steam, I believe it's gonna be 20 bucks, which strikes, which strikes me as kind of insane, but then again, I am not a developer or publisher, so what do I know? All I know is I've played uh, a lot of games this year that had, you know, a third or half the price of that, and uh, I enjoyed them a lot more, but far be it for me to tell them how to do their job. In any case, let's pop open the shell up here, and is there any way, I really at least would love to do one constructive thing and get this cylinder over here. I guess it is indeed a hexagon. I recognize it from Trivial Pursuit. Um, I, you know, we could place like these other shapes as well. I just oftentimes kind of suffer trying to figure out where they actually go. Like, there we go. Okay, we've created something there. I wonder if we could just kind of like plank on the edge of this pyramid and not die when we fall? I'm gonna go ahead and say the answer to that is probably no. Uh, also, I think it's super weird that he just kind of like summons the shape into the world. I wonder if I could set up another one like that, and then maybe push out a little further. Maybe I can make a bridge out of this shape and get myself a little bit closer. This is scary as hell, uh, and it's actually just taking me higher, like a Creed song or something. I, I don't want to go higher. I want to go. Maybe I can just build my way. How many more of those, those do I have? Oh, one. Good. That's that's a good start. Uh, or no, okay, only one. Uh, and I can put one more on the end here, and we can kind of hang out and then immediate well, I wonder if I could fall to my death and just ride this sweet ass surfboard all the way maybe if I jump it'll break it off no this actually seems like a strong structure believe it or not um, can push this out a little further well I've got a sweet ass sky bridge if nothing else uh, I don't know if there's a yeah I guess we can place one there and we're building an awesome monument I have no I oh that means it's gonna break okay so we're gonna follow our deaths, and that's probably gonna do it for my Let's Look at Patterns. You might be saying, Northern Lion, you didn't accomplish anything in this entire Let's Look at. And I would say to you, uh, I accomplished as much in this video as I have in the other hour that I've spent playing this game so far. Uh, so, you know, positives. I wonder if I can break this. Uh, positives, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. The lighting, the shadows, uh, the overall aesthetic. I think the music is beautiful. Presentation suffers from a kind of amateurish character design, I feel, but apart from that, um, you know, a good, good looking game, but I just don't know what the hell to do, and apparently nobody does, and the game doesn't really give you much guidance. So if you're into that kind of uh, minimalism, experimentalism, then, you know, feel free to pick up the game and try to prove me wrong, but in the meantime, I have a hard time justifying a recommendation for a purchase of this when. I really don't know what the game's about at all, and it doesn't really do much to help me figure out what's going on at all. Uh, it's it's a very unusual game, one that I am 100% sure that I understand about 0% about, uh, but overall, I'm not really having much fun with it, which is the only thing that really matters to me. But in any case, I apologize if this seems like a particularly simple explanation of my opinions on this game, but it's uh, authentic and honest, I guarantee you that. In any case, thank you guys for watching. There will be a link in the video description to check out Patterns if you are interested, but in any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.